Hi. Um, I'm just going to talk about the pricing tab and the updates I have made on the pricing tab. So this is the stationary order response spreadsheet. So um, previously, everything is categorized with a title like this. Paper, and all of these are paper. Envelope, all of these are envelope. And so on, and so on, and so on. But um, I'm going to uh, set it up differently. This is how I'm going to set it up. Okay. Um, instead, of, instead of having just one line with the title paper, I have it on this side, paper, envelope, tapes and packaging. Now, the reason why I've done that is because that you can use a filter to select what you wanted to uh, look at. Now, in order for you to be able to select it, I will show you. First of all, I actually wanted to make this screen a bit bigger so I can press this blue button, which is the OK button. So what I can do is um, press this button to, to hide the menu bar like this. Now at the moment everything is shown. So what I can what I can do is I can clear all and you just tick whatever you want to see. For example, I just want to see paper and stationery and then press OK. So what happened is the filter button will actually just give you paper and stationery. Yes, it's, it's actually very good. And if I actually wanted to show everything, just go to here and press select all and then OK. If you are not very confident using the uh, filter button, just leave it open. Now, if somebody comes along and, and actually um, do something to your planner and you say all the bags are missing, all the bags are missing. So this is a clue, OK? If you look on here, okay, let me see if I can increase the size. If you look on here, 50 and then 76, so you know something is missing. There is a big jump. Yeah, so you know that um, something has been hidden. It's usually by the filter. So if you do select all, okay, everything will come back. Up again so this is a, a, a tip for you because um, eventually you will get people hiding things and um, you'll be scratching your head and wondering what happened um, so that is one update which I have made for you and now I'm going to show you how to increase the lines for the future um, new product lines because I know that you're going to have a new branding and you'll probably need get some new stationery. Now, what you can do is along here, you, you see these numbers? Click on it and you can drag down. And that's how you select multitude of rows. Right click and press um, above or below. Okay. So I've done above. So now, I have actually made this, but th there is no formula. You see, the formula is in this column and this column. So what I can do is, again, select the number here. OK, let me do it again. Select and drag down, let go. Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. And when you do that, all the formulas are, are being pasted. Yeah, otherwise, I'll, I'll show you another method of doing the same thing. Um, insert above, okay. Now, I, um, you can actually select one row like this. Can you see? What you do is you uh, click on here, drag, let go. And there is a little corner here. Press it and drag down and then let go. 
And that is another way of、um, copying and pasting. Yeah. So、uh, both ways is actually quite easy and、um, direct. So I will show you、um, how you would do it in your、um, right mouse button, which I'm sure you probably be using. Select the area that you want to copy by、uh, going to the numbers here, drag down. Okay, I want to copy all of these. So when you do that, you right click and then do copy. <clears throat> Select the first empty cell that you want to paste in, and then right click and paste. Okay. So when you do that, the formulas are in. These are formulas, and then. Um, the wording here are complete. So I have actually、uh, given you quite a bit because with the new rebranding, you probably will be get, getting a lot of stock. So any old stock that you don't need anymore, what you can do is just to go ahead and delete it. Okay.、Um, right click and then press delete. So I'm just going to go onto this example sheet here. Now this example sheet is、um, is the demonstration that we have、um, done with the、um, website. So when you copy it, you you copy it like this. So I would say、uh, you can actually just keep this. So I'm I'm just going to select all and then copy Control C to copy. Go to pricing. Go to paper. Okay, I'll paste on here. Paste. So it's just one in the pack. One 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 one. The price is is this one here.、And、the packaging is S. All right. Can you see the difference between this one and this one? Right, I'm just going to zoom in for you to have a look. Okay.、Um, um, 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 hold on. Okay. Can you see the difference between this one and this one? Yeah. You probably can't. <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is, if if you actually just wanted to、um, skip the part where you did, if you remember, I'll click onto here. I copy this part out. Control X, Control Shift V, and then delete. Now, when you actually do that, you 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 use about five seconds. For you, it's probably about thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry to be rude, but it's the truth. <laughs> so you you might as well just copy and paste this in and just leave it as that, because the the real difference between these two is the bracket. Really, you see this this one got a bracket. This one doesn't have a bracket. So therefore, don't get to um. When, if you want to do things very very quickly, um. Just copy and paste. If you have got the stock number behind the the wording, keep it because the end result is um is actually the same as uh you putting it onto here. Yeah, and if you have eyes, you can actually just look at this, like move your eyeball from this to here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Goodbye.